She's cheating. Okay. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning, babe. Is everything okay? It's perfect. <laughs> Wait, is... Is this my birthday? No. Is it yours? No. Oh, it's it's not our anniversary. It's not. So, oh, oh, what is what's going on? I just want to put a smile on your face this morning, darling. Baby. <laughs> Baby, seeing you smile is enough for me. Besides. I don't think you should go through all the stress. You're not even feeling fine. Thank you. Thank you. Open it, baby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I know you might object to this, but um, my mind is made up. You and I will be going on a getaway this weekend. Just you and I. Baby, you're not feeling fine. The doctor said... Oh, the doctor said, yeah. I remember my hair. My mind is made up. All right. And I am strong enough for this. Are you sure? I just want some time. Alone. With my wife. So that I can be for you that husband. That you married. <sighs> Okay. So what am I doing this weekend? Nothing. Fine. So where are we going? Surprise. No. <laughs> I don't like surprises. Like surprises. <laughs> Just give me a hint, a tiny little hint. Where? Kiss me on that. <laughs> <laughs>
beautiful place. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, all right, I have a surprise for this. Baby, I'm not good. Oh, man. Okay. okay. <laughs> this way. What is going on? Just a... I just keep walking. You gotta trust me that I'm there. <laughs> you gotta trust me that I'm there. I'm going on. What is going on? <laughs>
Gottseg bekommen. It's it's no one important. Oh, George is suddenly not important. Uh, how did you know it was him? It's my best friend, remember? He calls you very often, right? No, 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 of course not. I, I I'm I'm sure he he tried to reach you and he couldn't so he just decided to try my number and I, it it rang. Yeah, it's possible. You know I I left my phone upstairs. Ah. It's possible. Downstairs. Please. Sit. I can explain. I can explain. Please. You and I have a whole weekend to have this conversation. And I'm not going to have it. Stand. I... I can't sit. This one. Let me explain. It's, it's not what you think. Please, I promise you, I can ex... Are you ready? Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you think? I can explain. I can explain it. How long has it been coming? It's not long. It's not long. It's not long. So then how long have I been here? Two years. So bearing that in mind, I'm just going to is my question. How long have you fucking my friend? Oh. <laughs> Please. Please. Yes. <laughs> and apologies. Oh yeah. 
I want a conversation with you. Like you are going to have behind me. The truth. Salim. I want the truth. Do you hear me? Will you please? Please, I'm sorry. Just stop telling me you're sorry because you're not. Now, since you have been sleeping with my friend for as long as you and I have been married, I need to know exactly. What is the essence of this marriage? What does it even mean to you? I'm sorry. Take that thing off. Osborne, please. I beg you. Take that ring off. It hasn't gotten to that. Now! Now! now. With you. What is this? Is it a joke? Huh? No, this is for the purpose. It's marriage, do you hear? Now, this is what people do when you're in marriage and you get tired of it. You get up and you take a walk. That's what people do. Do you hear me? I am not joking with you. You ungrateful piece of rubbish. I picked you up from the gutter. Bring you up. Give you an identity. Give you life. And I, in turn, give you my life, and you dare to snuff it out. Who are you? What kind of a woman are you? You know very well about my customs and traditions, yet you sleep with my friend. You feed me, thus defiling my bed. What did I ever do to you? Tell me what. I'm sorry. Shut up, you're not sorry. You're not sorry. Because if you were sorry, you wouldn't sit back and then watch the doctors go crazy, searching for solutions to my human But you sat down there, you had all the answers. But no, you would not speak up, you know why? Fucking my friend George was more important to you than my life. That's not exactly how it happened. How did it happen? Because I remember clearly that you, you fed me. You cleaned me up. You, 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 you prayed with me. You nursed me. Yet knowing that your atrocities put me in this predicament, how do you even sleep at night? Selene, as much as I am confused every time I look at you, now I'm wondering, is Mirabelle even mine? Of course, of course, she's yours. She's mine. How do you know? Because you have two men in your life. So how do you know, you prostitute? You suddenly chose to become promiscuous. You wish you to lie now. Do you know? I love him, Osborne. I'm sorry, but I love him. Oh! <gasps> 
we regret to announce the death of George Okeze, who died in a ghastly motor accident in the early hours of today, left behind a wife and two kids. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. No! feel right now? Tell me. I want to know. So many questions in your heart. But you're so afraid to ask. Because you are scared that the answers would break your heart. And I promise you they will. You found out about George. And then what? You bring me here. Go through the stress of all this. 
lock me up in this house and make me beg for my life? Is that it? You plan to kill me? Is that it? You said we were going to have a long weekend. I agree. So I'll go change up and meet you downstairs. I think it is time you and I had an honest conversation. Before we start with the wise, would you be kind enough to explain to me who this girl is? That, 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 that doesn't mean anything. Really? If this doesn't mean anything, then I guess George doesn't mean anything as well. Selena, so I, mean, I am a man. And I am a woman. I am a woman. I am a woman born out of flesh like you. I have blood flowing through my veins. I have emotions like you. What makes us different? You dare justify cheating? This is just one out of the numerous things I have had to ignore just to remain your wife. I just want you to know that your hobby is shagging Emerald. That's a text message I received a day after my wedding. Emerald? Yes, Emerald. How could you sleep with my bridesmaid? I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You did! And I have proof. You slept with my bridesmaid. You paid a one thousand five hundred dollars for the services. I have proof. Check your email. There are receipts. You tell me that I do not care about your life. Do you care about mine? You go around sleeping with these women without protection. Isn't that it? Get nothing out of my face. And nothing out of me. So I open the door. Let me get out of here. We are both guilty, young man. Open that door. Let me go.
Osborne. Osborne, please, let's go home. We can fight when we get home, but I can't leave you here. But Selen, you choose to break my heart like this. You chose my friend. My best friend. That's not true. My brother. I didn't. I, I didn't entirely choose him. Not like that. <laughs> At least, certainly not with the intention of breaking your heart. I wouldn't do that to you. Osborne, the truth is, When I met you, something just wasn't clicking. Something wouldn't connect. I tried so hard to make it work. I tried so hard, but... But it just, just wouldn't click. And then you asked me to marry you. Everyone thought that I should say yes. That I should go ahead with the wedding. They thought it was the right thing to do. I was, I was going to, I mean, I, I was so sure that it was going to happen. I mean, I, I was faithful to you and I really, 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 really liked you. So I knew that with time, things, things were going to fall in place. But then I, I met George during the wedding preparation. I mean, it just all started with a harmless smile. And it boiled down to chattiness and playfulness. He even supported me and helped with the shopping. You know, we'd go out to shop for the wedding together and then sometimes we'd stop over for a few drinks. And if it felt like he, he brought out a more brilliant version of me. But even though I liked him, I never ever cheated on you. At least not then. I was faithful. I was I was willing to make our marriage work. I promise you I, I didn't sleep with him then. So what are you going to do is that you would never really loved me. Yet you walked down the aisle with me. I spawn. And took the bed down. Sidney! I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.
I never thought it would be like this. But do you know how it felt? Knowing that my husband went on our honeymoon with his side cheek. Knowing that he lodged her in the room directly opposite ours. And knowing that every night he would sneak out of bed and I would cry myself to sleep. Oh, your excuse, I have no excuse. You have no excuse. You should 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 have no excuse. Opportunity to change, you say. The world made it easy. For a man to cheat. And everybody that complained to talk me. Everything. No. You gave me everything you could give to make up for not giving me the only thing that I required. How difficult is it for you men to understand that no woman wants to share her man? You know that this, this marriage is over, right? I'm taking my daughter with me. What? What did you say?
I am not sorry. And I have no regrets. I just don't want the world to say that I killed you after you commit suicide. So you're going to man up, get yourself up from that floor, get into the car, and we will live here together as adults. I loved you. I loved you. I loved you. I loved you. I loved you so much. What do you know about love? I know what to do that. You've taken everything from me, Sonny. You've taken everything from me. You've taken it all from me. I don't care what you do. At least you now understand what it means to be betrayed and hurt and underestimated. a bitch, that's why you're the one I'm standing over. Hmm. You know what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm just done having this conversation. Look at you. Karma has already started dealing with you. Look at you. You can't even move. You're too weak to do anything. You know what? I'm done. You don't have enough time to gallivant round town and travel round the world with your missy. <laughs> you think I didn't know? <laughs> All right, I hear you. I hear you, baby, come on. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm home. All right, I have to go. But I'll call you later. Hmm? What? Let me see, I love you. Okay? I really do love you, Yemi. See, you have to learn to trust in what I feel for you. Yes. Okay. Right here. I have to go. Alright. I'll call you again. Yes, I will call you, let me see, stop. <laughs> all right, all right, love. Love you, love you, love you, bye. Yeah, bye. abroad. Of course I knew. Get yourself up. I will be in the car.
you win. So you win. So then you took a swipe at everything that I believed in. This man told my life. Cured my essence. Tore my world apart. A single step. So then if I were a friend that you please find it in your heart to forgive me. I would have said it a long time ago if you ever asked and I would have meant it. Please forgive me. Oh, because of this, I have lost my self worth. And I have no hope of ever, ever finding who I was. You wanted to have a truthful conversation. I never cheated on you. I never broke my vows. You did. It is true, I never really loved you. Yet, I was willing to sacrifice it all for the sake of marriage. Up until you hit the last straw by sleeping with my sister. How could I forgive that? I see what the maid thought of sleeping with your best friend did to you. Now you can imagine what the knowledge of your entire escapades did to me. I planned it all, coerced your friend into playing that role. Oh dear, I hope. He's still alive. I used the power I had to drive you crazy. As for your ailment, I wouldn't be surprised if the doctor truly told you what you were sick of. I guess it was more convenient to blame it on me. Dear husband, never underestimate the power of 